The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. The Predators start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. Along the half wall with the puck. Puck leaves the zone on a bad pass, and they'll be forced to regroup. Puck picked up by Letty. Here's a short pass to Johansson. Nashville's got possession of the puck. Seattle's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Truway's got it against the boards. The Predators have it against the wall. Nashville's got it across the line. Stones him on the one-timer. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Moves it quickly over to Yossi. Oh, catches him in the open ice. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. And he takes the feed. Todd save with ease. Quick pass across to Parsonen. The Kraken have gained control of the puck along the wall. Sends a pass over. Loses his balance on the play. And he slides it quickly to Tomasino. Moves it to Parsonen. Moves it to Everly. And he slides it quickly to Hintz. Here's a race for the loose puck. Picked up along the boards by Hintz. Moves it around along the half wall. Scoops up the puck here. Takes the pass. Into the offensive end now. The Kraken had the puck in the defensive zone. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Takes the feed. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Lemieux taking it from his own end. Puck dumped in. The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattling as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming. And then all of a sudden, Bell, and he's down for the count. the attack they come down the right wing here we go pucks in deep the Kraken have gained possession off the wall here they come inside the neutral zone quick feed to control and that puck leaves the zone the Predators gain possession along the wall penalty coming up here the Kraken have to control their sticks better. They'll serve two for slashing in the meantime. The Predators get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you score first, chances are you win the game. And that goes off a player. Nashville's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, they just get the piece of it. They are really pouring on the pressure here. Trying to get it out. And they clear the zone and finally ease up the pressure. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Johansson set the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Well, as a rookie, all you want to do is get that first one and get on the board. Jocelyn for the puck, but still moves away. Granlund's carrying it ahead. Great defensive stick work on the play. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off a stick. Quick pass to Yossi. 
lead. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Puck cleared from the defensive end. And that's a great heads up play by VC. Seattle's got the puck along the wall. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Henson Company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Monahan's won the faceoff. The Kraken have gained control of the puck shorthanded. Trying to exit the defensive zone. And they get the puck out and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. Monahan's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Nashville's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Makes the save and put it out the fire in front. Oh, he caught him. Oh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. Here's a rocket of a shot. Alexiak's teammates kill off the penalty. That's a great power play, James. The only thing they didn't do was score. And if they continue that, they'll certainly have success. Here he is in close. And he throws it wide of the net. Oh, this is a tough game. And you got to fight for your scoring chances, James. And this just seems like a waste when he misses wide. Drives to the sweet spot. Fantastic save. Slides the puck over. Seattle's in transition. And that's knocked away. Can't maintain possession. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Kraken have been penalized. They'll serve two in the box. Yossi's known for his wheel zone ability, which is his skating speed to create scoring chances. Hintz is known for his wheel zone ability, that speed he uses to create chances. Be on the lookout for one of these players to make an impact for their team tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. Sends it in on the attack. The Predators will play it in their own end. Drives to the paint! Seattle's got the puck shorthanded. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Predators gain possession. Here's a short pass to Johansson. And that's off a stick. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. They get it out of the defensive end. And they'll use that dump in to change up the defense. And it's kicked away. Great pressure to force the turnover by VC. He was locked in there. Saros works hard to get to position. And that allows him to make that incredible save. Centering feed. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Studnika's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And they win the draw in their own end. Sends the pass over. Nashville's gained possession along the boards. One last rush here on this power play. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Nashville's got the puck. Moves the puck. Everly's almost back on the ice. Puck grab by Tomasino. That's blocked. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Strong penalty killing execution as both sides are now back to even strength. You get the nod to go out there on the power play and make a difference and you don't. It's frustrating and it's a real momentum killer. The Predators played along the boards. Solid body contact. Oh, it serves up a little too sweet with that save. Still keeps a hold of it. 
Moves it quickly over to Taylor. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We're still scoreless. Seattle's got it, and they're on the attack. And he takes the feed. Saros freezes the puck and opts for the whistle. Alexiak's been struggling to put up some numbers, and it can be frustrating to head into a pointless street and continue. When that happens, you start to get down on yourself. It can really affect your confidence. you got to focus on the little things and try and keep good habits. The Predators have it now. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Seattle's got control of it now from their own end. Picks up the puck. Handles it along the blue line. Takes the feed. Close save somehow got a piece of it. Receives the pass. Knocked away with the stick by Lazard. Picked up along the boards by Everly. Seattle's playing it from the side. Tries to feed it over to Schultz. The Predators will play it from the defensive zone. Moves it to Letty. Nice zone entry from the right side. Loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. Quick feed to Lozon. Looks to set up at the point now. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Quick pass to Beneers. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Puck scooped up by Dumoulin. Oh, gigantic save by Saros. What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. And he gets out to the top of the screen. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Here in the later stages of this period, the game is still scoreless. The Predators get a hold of the puck in their own end. Battle along the wall. Here's a short pass to Schultz. Picked up along the wall by Sheary. The Predators get a hold of the puck in their own end. Into the offensive zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Extra attacker out to apply the pressure with the goaltender at the bench. Here comes the official's call. Late in the period in a close game, a top penalty to take James. But if they can just kill it off and get to the intermission, they can reset to start the next period. Well, as both teams dig in for the face-off here just moments away, it's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. Seattle's won the draw. Scrum along the boards. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Nice job to escape the zone. Fires it into the offensive zone. Seattle's got a hold of it along the wall. Here they come. Nashville's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Gaining momentum along the way. Takes a shot. And he comes up with it. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Sissons gets set for the face-off here as they will continue to play shorthanded. Nashville's won the face-off. Love save made by Grubauer. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Seattle's got the win off that draw. Pass to Everly.
brings it into period number one. Still lots more action to go. Both teams will recharge and be back with more on ice action in the second in no time. Both teams had a chance to recharge, and the officials set to drop the puck here on period number two. Still looking for the game's first goal as we are underway in the second. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? The Predators have generated a ton of shots and really aggressive in the offensive zone in particular, James. I think they're going to get need to get more net front presence if they want to put it by the tenders, having an outstanding game. Angles it over to Letty. Moves the puck along the half wall. Connives him with the pass. It always amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines. And this goaltender, who does a great job of making it happen. Oh, fantastic save. Lightning quick reflexes. Soros can make some impressive saves when he's able to push off from side to side to shut down those cross-crease attempts, guys. That's what we call his post-to-post -post zone ability. Seattle's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Nashville's got the puck in the defensive end. Poked away at center ice. Trying to clear the puck. And the puck's out of harm's way. 
And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Nashville's got the puck against the boards. Off the tip. And that's blocked from someone in front. McCann's up and ready to get back on the ice. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Power play has expired. CC's last play was impressive, James. I mean, he's falling. He's almost on one foot. Incredible balance, but more importantly, the awareness to know exactly where he was passing and distributing the puck. Move it to the middle. Another pass. And it's blocked. Scooped up along the wall by Pedersen. Hintz takes the puck. And he takes the dish. Incredible reflexes on the glove save by Seros. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And that play is neutralized. Handles the puck. And he was ready for that one. And now he moves it quickly to Fabro. And that's deflected. Taken along the wall by Granlin. Oh, that's a huge stop by Grubauer. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. Nashville's won the draw. They'll go to work. Steps in with the ball. Athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about complete and finding a way to get to the puck. And these fans are still busting about what we just saw. What a save that was, Shane. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. Takes the shot. Oh, stop right there. And he takes the pass. Granlin's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Sometimes it's just a product of keeping your feet moving, and when you're reaching, you take your opponent's feet out, you're going to get the two minutes for tripping. Another chance here on the man advantage. And the power play has not been good tonight, but it's not about what happened or what's going to happen. It is about right now and finding a way to create some momentum on this one. The Kraken have the puck while under man. And they clear that puck. And he loses control of the puck. The Predators gain control of the puck. Takes the feed from his own end. Grabbed along the board by Monaghan. Here's a shot. Stops that one. Sends the pass down low. Picked up along the board by Tomasino. Solid check to slow him down. Shot off target. And now it's grabbed by Novak. My goodness, the pressure really building here in the offensive end. And the puck goes out the zone. Finally easing up all that pressure. Face-off coming up here in the offensive end. And the goaltender looks fatigued, James, so the best medicine right now for them is to find a way to put the puck to the net. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Slides it back to the blue line. The Kraken trying to gain a step all alone. Not sure what happened there. Well, yeah, it looks like he was going left, then he was going right, but his inability to convert because he ran out of room. Driving right to the front. Looking to clear the defensive zone. Nashville's got possession here in the offensive zone. The Predators get a hold of the puck along the boards. Nashville's got it in their own zone. Heats it across. 
Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. They've had a great night on the PK. It doesn't get much better than this, James. The coach certainly knows it. Everything they practice has worked out to their benefit right now. Straight line skating, vision, and anticipation. And those are three skills that are required on the PK. He grabs the puck here at the point. The Predators have it now. Slides it across to Yossi. The Predators move the puck in the defensive zone. Nashville's going to play it from the corner. From one end of the blue line to the other. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. And now it's over to Schultz. Nashville's regained possession of the puck. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Puts it in deep. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Reaches out and uses the stick. Works it across to Coonan. Scrum ensues along the boards. Moves it to the crease. Oh, it out on the play. Wow. Uh, the true competitor is saved just when you think that he's completely out of it, James. He comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Moves it quickly over to Kepo Bianco. And makes the save. Nashville's got the puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Kinnan. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Hooked away in the defensive end. Hintz moves the puck. Gain momentum up along the side. And he's knocked off the puck there. Taken by Gostas Bear. The Predators are in transition. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Brilliant save, ran perfectly. Quick feed to Goodrow. Scooped up along the wall by Schultz. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Feeds it up ahead. And a smart heads-up play to poke that away by the Nears. Moves it to Gostaspair. Tosses it to Johansson. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Quick feed to Beneers. Slip feed. Jabs the puck away. Sends it quickly to Schultz. Handles the pass from the right wing. Slides it quickly to Letty. And he takes the feed. Looks to get the puck over to Graylin. He's got a step. Great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Check it along the wall by Sheary. Oh, to Madison with the paddle save. Nashville's got a hold of the puck. Sends a pass over. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Takes over his shot. Misses over the net. Sometimes there's pressure on players when they get into that prime time scoring area. And because of it, they rush the shot. And I think that happened right there. Nashville's got a hold of the puck now. The Kraken have taken control of the puck. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Lazard. Along the board, they battle for the puck back and forth. Here's a shot. Play continues here, but this crowd still buzzing after what we saw. What a spot that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. From the open ice, they gain the line. Grabbed along the board by Schultz. Quick shot. That's a beautiful pass saved by the goalie there. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Puck picked up by Drouin.
Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period. Don't go anywhere. Just a friendly reminder about tonight's silent auction. All items can be viewed in Vitabon at the display near the guest services counter.
face off for period number three is ready to go. Still looking for that first goal of the game here as we get underway in the third. Studnik has got the puck in his own zone. Poked away by Duchesne. Quick pass to Letty. Handles the pass. Taken down the official's spot. Well, look at this, Cheryl. Here we go. The parade is officially underway. It certainly is. And everyone in the building, you can hear the crowd just jeering with their frustration, including everyone on the bench, completely deflated right now. A non-stop procession with a penalty box for the home team. The Predators send their man advantage unit out once more. I know they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. The Predators get a hold of the puck. Quick pass over to Yossi. Picked up along the boards by Monaghan. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. The Predators roll out their man advantage unit, and they've got lots of time with this 5-on-3. In a 5-on-3, you have advantages all over the ice in the offensive zone, but you still can move. You can move and isolate players. When you do this, you create movement, more opportunity. That's exactly what you have to do. Gosses Bears hold down. Penalty on the way. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Stones on the play. Duchesne's on the attack in the offensive zone. Eagleized by the Bears. It's in the back of the net, and I think he knocked it in there, Cheryl. Oh, that is such a deflating goal and a real tough one for him to take. I think he lost sight of it, didn't know where it was, and as he turned around, he knocked it himself. Oh, that's a tough one to take. Oh, these goals are real deflators for the entire team. James thought he had a piece of it, and it just dribbles into the back of the net. He wants that one back. Nashville's finally on the board here in this third period. And finally, James, you know, there's a marker in this game. It was a, so defensive in nature and some offensive chances, but no one able to beat the goaltender here. But you got to believe that this should open up a little bit now as we're into the third period. Quick shot! Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. Here's a short pass to Favreau. Poked away in the neutral zone. Sean comes up with a stop. He's so fast, he's strong, but he can turn on a dime. And if he turns and you're just a step behind him, guess what? You're not getting back in, and he's going to take it to the paint. Play whistle dead. Good the coming up. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. They've got to find a way to play even strength. for a team. It's a scramble in front. Goaltender can't find it. And guess what? It's in the back of the cage. The Predators pick up right where they left off. And look at this. A quick goal here to go up in the third. Yeah, and that's deflating for their opponent. You can see it in the body language. And that's also a signal to them that they need to continue to press attack while they're down. Puck grab by Pedersen. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Well, the official was right there to make the tripping call, and it's a pretty easy one as the stick gets caught up in his opponent's skates. Seattle 
power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. No more five on three. It's a four on three now, James. And that's a tough one to take, but you have to find a way to reset because you still have a huge opportunity ahead of you. Yossi's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Fires it. Oh, that had some heat on it. He makes the save. Is it to the middle? And he denies that great opportunity there. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. And some good footwork to kick it away. My goodness, the Hurts are really building here in the offensive end. Granlin's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Studnikas recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Here's the chance to clear the puck from his own end. And clearing the tip is a big success on that play. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Moves it quickly over to Duchesne. Turned aside with the club by Grubauer. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. From the point, they take control of it. Fires it on net. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Sends the feed in front. Another pass. Couldn't complete the pass. And that doesn't reach the net. Love the pressure on this shift. Really dictating pace. So they strike once again with the extra attackers. Wow, this is been a Now it's time for his team to start playing for him. They got to get going north, but the first thing they need to do is retrieve the puck and stop chasing the game. Monahan's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Nashville's won the faceoff at center. Now a quick pass to Yossi. Puck scooped up by Schultz. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Takes the feed. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a shot. Scores! And there's another power play goal. Wow. Well, practice makes perfect, and you know that they've been working on this in practice. They've got the right personnel, the coaching staff, and showed them video of how they want it executed, and they deliver tonight. Well, your specialty team coaches are constantly telling you on a power play that you need to take advantage, and the way that you do that presence here. And that's the reason the seeing eye shot finds its way to the back of the net. Nashville's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. And that goes wide! is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice and then this one just over rotate under rotate but nonetheless misses the net there's the whistle let's see what the referee saw the predators are getting penalized for slashing face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here they haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Ekholm stick handling in his own zone. And they manage to clear it. The Predators have it against the wall. Big time stop. Picked up along the wall by Granlin. And now it's grabbed by McCann. 
Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Taken by McCann. Gives them nothing in front. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Moves it to Eckholm. Turned aside with a glove by Grubauer. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's why you see from a young age and working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a club hand. The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Everly. Nashville's got it in their own zone. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Slides it over with pace to Hintz. Moves the puck. Fires it on net. Can't connect as it goes out the stick. And the puck's not loose. Nashville's got possession while under man. Gosses Bears moving the puck through his own zone. And they get that puck down the ice. Seattle's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Johansson. The Predators Three, carry it along the wall. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Time to execute here on this power play. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. Well, even when you're on a power play, you have more time and space, but you have to have urgency, and there is none on that TP sequence. This group has to figure out a way to generate. Nashville's been way more active here tonight on the ice, and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Predators gain possession. The Kraken has the puck in the open ice. Quick pass to Schultz. With possession along the wall. Battle along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Costas Bear. Puck picked up by Tomasino. Seattle's got control of it now from their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Seattle's got a hold of it against the wall. A chance on goal. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Here's a short pass to Tomasino. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Extra man. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out of the ice. Here comes the call from the official. Well, the PKers are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. they got to figure out a way to stay out of the box. Seattle's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it and look for different adjustments to be made. Seattle's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. Puts it on net. That goes wide. Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. Seattle's got possession of the puck. Denies him on the one-timer. Calgary's up next on the schedule. Tickets still available. Go to the box office or you can get them online. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. Clearing attempt. And they clear the defensive zone. 
Just a few up. seconds remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? Oh, he'll feel that one. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Nashville's penalty is now expired. Well, that's just a great sequence of events with that power play unit. The way they were moving the puck, the execution with their passes and the scoring chances that they did get. Hey, sometimes it doesn't. Well, you can't do that. You're going to find your way marching over to the box. We're going to stop it. Let's get the call. Let's this is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack over the penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. Play by Echo. The Kraken have gained possession under man. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Trying to get it out of danger. And they clear the zone, and that'll shave some time off. A great sequence by the PK unit. Really aggressive, close quickly on the puck, and they get it down the ice. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. A little four-on-four four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. Four-on-four four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Nashville's looking to break out. And they send it right back to him. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Hooked away by Schultz. Nashville's done a great job in front of the goaltender, making sure they clear rebounds and that the tender sees absolutely everything that comes their way. Now they're protecting the shutout. Of course, that's that goaltender's shot. Everyone should get the reward of that big fat zero. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. The Predators have had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they have capitalized and look at the score as a result. Novak's gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Quick pass across to Schultz. Eckholm's lugging the puck. And the puck clears the zone. Tries to feed it over to Schultz. Feeds the puck across to Everly. Seattle's got it along the wall. And somehow he hangs on. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they get it out. Man advantages that both teams back even strength. And a strong effort on that play. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Stoppage and play offside the call. Standing by Carlin Bade with her own thoughts on the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Yossi's been great at generating offense, and I've been impressed with his game in this one, guys. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. Puck is grabbed here at center ice by Hintz. CeCe's got it against the boards. Seattle's got the puck in the corner. Oh, what a save with the glove by Seros. The Predators have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. And they'll start with possession. Here's a shot. Club save! Wow! Here in the late going of the frame, Nashville's been the better team, and the scoreboard reflects it. They lead it 4-0. Seattle's won the draw. Nashville's got the puck in their own end. Oh, he it. And here we go. It's a late going play here. Well, they're running out of runway. We were waiting for this one all game, and as the game paused to an end, they find a way to drop the gloves.
and drops the hammer on that one. Yeah, the clear winner as that final punch perfectly executed and a tough one on the other end. Sometimes you hate to be on the other side of this. You know that your opponent, when they're getting blowed out late in the game, they're going to be physical, they're going to get the fists up, a lot of mitts going at it, and this is a product of frustration. You're getting blown out in the game, you're just trying to send a message. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. The Predators slide it through center. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Angles it over to Everly. The Predators get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Moves it to Everly. And he slides it quickly to Veneers. Slides the puck over. Stops the rocket on a shot. And another save. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Nashville's all but got this thing wrapped up here late in the third. They have capitalized on many scoring chances tonight. And the final seconds taken away here in regulation. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Right. pass! Oh, he comes up with a stop. Oh, and what a save as he gets that one, too. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Jostled off the puck. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Unable to reach that one. Grabbed along the board by Johansson. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Here's a chance. Scores another one. And listen to these fans now, Cheryl. They don't like it one bit. Oh, they don't like it, James.